the moment you are dealing with yourself, the moment you understand, oh, this is a problem now. Oh, when I reach here, I become angry. Oh. Look what I did. I, I, I did. Uh, I did when I was with Mama. When I was starting to work before God. When I was with Mama, she realized I've got this problem. And that problem, always, if I'm moving like this, if I'm moving like this, and if you are walking in front of me here, yeah, I don't talk with you. I don't talk, come, just, maybe I'm in town, and you're, you're, I just do like this. <laughs> and I carry on. I, so, Mama began to realize this. Always you are like this. All right. Okay, sit down. I want to show you what you can do. Because all of us, we have, I'll tell you this, we have a sin when we are born. Sin nature. Are you hearing me? And you are carrying the blood of your forefathers. So, you cannot just come and say, I'm perfect. I'm sure you understand that. You deal with, work out your salvation every day. You can, you can find the demon coming. So I realized, what must I do? Oh, always I know the reason why you exercise <laughs> is because your stomach is full. Is it true? Yes, it is. All right, okay. Ah, let me spend time in the bush. There's nobody in the bush there. And with an strike. I just go to the bush there and say, I'll see whom I'm going to do like this. I'll do it like that. Look, now I'm in the bush, I'm alone. I have to call God there. There are certain things you will never overcome until you are lonely and you deal with your own demon. If not, you'll be surprised. Everything that comes to you gives you pride. Everything makes you different. The moment when you have money now, the way you walk now. You find that everybody you suspect. You suspect. And then, because you've got 15,000 rents in your, even your purse, you hold it tight. Like, I'm sure you understand that. Because always, progress to you is a problem. You have not reached a level of understanding that God can still give you billions. When you've got 15,000 now, you even change how you walk. I'm sure you understand that. So that's why God can't give you more. Because if he give you more, you are going to call criminals. You are going to call criminals, they will come and kill you. You are just going to wear shoes that gives lights here. <laughs> you, you, you are in town, you are lighting everybody. Everybody say, who's there, who's there, who's there? And from there, they follow you. They say, hey, what is this? Let's follow this guy. Let's, you, they will kill you for that money. So whatever that is happening to you, when you humble yourself and pray, you are seeking him. And when you are seeking him, you are allowing the will of God to happen. Even a blessing will never bring anything to you. You will just see God at work. I don't know if you are hearing me. Huh? Expect a blessing that is coming to you. Are you expecting the blessing that is coming to you? If you are expecting, it must not change you. Sometimes, God will leave you for a while. I know what I'm talking about. He will leave you in the dark. You struggle, struggle, you can't get anything. So, do your, your introspection. You check yourself. Okay, I have this problem. On Sunday, I'm surprised the Spirit of God is not flowing well. What is the problem? If I'm a pastor, oh, I'm short temper. Okay, let's deal with my temper. How can I deal with my temper? Okay, let me leave food on the weekend and go and shout in the church. Oh, let me do, make sure that, like when you are sleeping, maybe when you sleep in the night, maybe past 12, past one, someone come and say, open your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. 
and feed you. I'm sure you understand that. You wake up, you check the time. Oh, it means something is happening. No, on that time, I won't sleep now. On that time, I, okay, let me, 11 o'clock, let me go outside of the house and pray, and pray, and pray. You will see something happening. I'm sure you understand that. You, you are sleeping there, you see a spiritual husband or spiritual wife coming on that time. You check that, ah, this thing has happened. No, 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 tonight, tomorrow, it won't happen. I'm doing fasting. Don't do fasting of eating in the evening because that fasting is very bad. The moment when you don't leave break, breakfast there, you, in the evening, you also bring breakfast. You find that now you are bringing breakfast, you also bring lunch and also the food in the evening. You are dealing with yourself. Okay, you say, okay, no, let me do this one day fasting and see that time I won't sleep. The whole day you are not sleeping. You are not eating. In the evening you are not eating. On that time you wake up or you are not even sleeping. You go and pray against this. You know what will happen? You'll be surprised. The moment when you do like this, sleep a little bit, the spiritual husband will come. And you say, in Jesus' name. You are able to say, in Jesus' name. But if you don't do that, the spiritual husband will just come and say, Coco, you say, come in. And the spiritual husband come and say, sorry, darling, I was late, but now I'm on time. I'm sure I understand that. You are going to be a feast. I don't know if you're hearing me. And the moment when spiritual husband come here, it brings delay, delay, delay. That is why people now, that's why people now, they are getting blessed in the wrong way. So you say fight until you are proved. Amen. How many of you are going to do that? How many, of, how many of you are, okay, stand up. Those who are, who are going to do it, stand up. I'm praying for you. Receive the grace to overcome your enemy in the name of Jesus. Sit down. Let me say it for the last time. The moment when you sleep, you just sleep like this. You dream you are in funeral. Don't relax. Or you dream a very bad dream or a nightmare. Don't relax. You are under attack or you are being initiated. Go and check yourself. Sit down, okay? I, this issue is coming because I'm short temper. Or oh, I think against other people. Or I've got evil thoughts. Or whatever. Those, the big sin is when you sin by yourself. It's not when other people are sinning against you. So the moment when you get something like this, oh, I must deal with myself before I deal with other people. I'm sure you understand that. The Bible shows that you must remove something here if you want to remove of someone there. So today, go and do this thing. You are going to prosper. You are going to prosper. God bless you. So, I deal with my own. When I'm working like this, so when I'm alone, it's enough. It's suicidal. Not long I realize that if I'm driving with my wife, not long, when I'm driving with my wife, I'll be praying that God make her to sleep. Make her to sleep. If she sleep, it's 200. 240. <laughs> I'm sure you understand that. Eh? So, herself, she will wake up at the gate of the house. We are here. Eh? One hour. Hi. What's, what happened? I say, it's God. It's God. It's God. It's, I'm sure you understand. So, there are certain things that some people, you know, when they are sleeping, or they can't see of what you're doing. You must deal with them before they find out. 
If someone say, okay, when I'm not seeing you, you do this. Those are the things that are blocking you. Those are the things that will kill you. So don't just say, okay. She will say, no, you must not drive like this. She must not drive like this. She must not drive like this. So I will understand that, oh, if I play a song, she will be worshipping. She will worship me. I put you off the radio. And I drive 120. She will be speaking with me. I was speaking with her. And they say, I feel tired. I say, oh, sleep. <laughs> I'll wake you when we reach there. The moment when she do like this, I say, Mama. Mama. Mama, we. <laughs> <laughs> Later, I realized, oh, I need deliverance on this. <laughs> I'm sure you understand that. Why I have to do it when she's asleep? So those are the lesson to you. Why someone must sleep first and you do it? If now you do it because people are not aware, it means there's a problem. Because I can see many problems are caused because someone is not aware of what you are doing. Now, if now someone is becoming aware, well, this is the same thing that devil is going to use as a case. I can show you some people who are doing things here. I say, you are doing this. And then this one is not even aware. And you are carrying on doing it. And this is the one that will bring what? A curse on you. Very soon you'll be surprised. Oh, I'm pregnant. And pregnant is pregnant when pregnant. You try to press it, but to you try to do everything. You, even if you pray against it, I command you not to grow. You will see. I don't know if you're hearing me. So if you are doing things hiding, I can pray with you. You confess today. You need Jesus. You come back. Those are the things that devil is using against you.